Oh, that's heartbreak for Absolutely Eleanor Lillick. But Followed up by Abby Lakeforth. But good news for Stephanie Horn, who is through to uh, to the final this afternoon. Abby Lakeforth, she got a quota yesterday for the United States. Yeah, we saw her in the final of the canoe. Can she make it two finals this weekend? She definitely is. Wow, she's she's pulling. Yep. You need to remind yourself she's only 19 years old. Abby Lakeforth, she seems to have been around forever but um, is just growing in confidence this year. She's had a slow start through the year. Since uh, Tokyo, she hasn't really been at her best, but this year, especially at the Worlds, under 23 Worlds, she really put down a couple of very good runs in both the K1 and the C1. That's right. She seems to be picking it up just as she needs to be a crucial time in the year, and she's really been performing, so that's nice to see. And she made up almost a second in that second section of the course. So we'll see. Oh, nice and tight in there. Yep. So Sona Stanoska is the athlete that is now waiting on the on the cusp, and her time is a 106.63. And, and then, and we'll see if that if that costs her on the on the clock or not. This S definitely will. That was. Yep, that was deep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 106.63, which I think both of us lowest thought would be not in the mix. Yeah, that's right. I think for finals, and now it's looking like. That, that could be enough to get Sonas and Oscar through. Let's see how yeah. Evie can finish. She's got to go under a 106.63 to get straight in. So we have misjudged this time a little bit here, I've got to say. Yeah, but we've seen some really fast paddling. So it's going to be tight here. She's 106.63 is the time you've got to watch here. It's going to be close. Oh. 107.2, ninth place. She does have a chance, but it's an outside one.